Welcome challenge writers. This week we're going to be working on opinion writing and hopefully you just read the two books Giggle Giggle Quack and Living on a Farm and watched the video about the three different communities that people can live in. Um, so let's go ahead and look at our traits that we want to work on as challenge level writers. Um, and we're still focusing on descriptive vocabulary, but I added something and it says sensory details. So this week we are focusing on sensory details, which is basically using our five senses as we do use descriptive language in our writing. And again, we are doing an opinion piece. I know the last two pieces we've done have been informative. We're now switching our text type and we're going to be working on opinion. And the topic is, um, would you like to live on a farm or do you want to live on a farm? All right, let's go ahead and look at the different senses. Like I said, there are five different senses. The ability to see, to hear, to smell, taste, and touch. Okay, so we have the five senses. So as you're thinking about living on a farm and if you would like to, I want you to try to think of some details that appeal to the different senses. For example, what would you see on a farm? What might you hear? What might you smell? You can taste on a farm. And of course, what could you touch on a farm? So I've already written it out for you. I'm gonna go ahead and go over it. And then it's gonna be your turn to close your eyes and imagine being on a farm and kind of come up with your own details. And then you're gonna be able to use those in your writing and in your reasons of whether or not you would like to live on a farm. So let's look at seeing. What things would we see? There are many things to see on the farm, but I put in a couple ideas. Um, maybe full ears of corn on stalks, dark red cherries, pea plants, curly tendrils, these little parts of the plant that kind of climb up on the wooden sticks, a plentiful garden, so lots of fruits and vegetables, tree branches weighed down by heavy fruits such as apples and plums, pigs rolling in the mud, baby lambs tagging along with their mama, baby chicks pecking the ground for seeds and bugs. There are many, many more things that you would see on a farm. Those are a couple that I picked. Things that you might hear on the farm, um, crickets chirping in the field, milk splashing into the bucket, bees buzzing on clover or flowers, cock a doo, -doo or roosters or other um, birds making noises, wind chimes jingling in the breeze, wind rustling through poplar, for, through poplar tree leaves, or you can put any type of trees, um, cowbells clanking, horse hooves clopping or pound the earth, um, babbling brook or a stream, and some animal sounds like clucks, moos, quacks, oinks, and neigh. And so the reason we want to use a lot of these details is for your reader when they're reading your piece, they'll feel like they're actually on the farm with you. And that's what descriptive writing does. It really makes you feel like you're there. You can feel it, smell it, um, taste it. And so that's why we're kind of using as many descriptive words and maybe action verbs like wrestling or splashing, chirping, buzzing, clapping, um, babbling. So kind of using those good descriptive details but re remember to appeal to all senses. All right, we're now looking at smell. Some things you might smell, fresh, earthy soil, a musty old barn, cow and horse manure, doesn't smell too good, but it definitely does smell like the farm. Fragrant flowers like tulips, lilacs, roses, daffodils, ripening tomatoes or peaches or any other fruit or vegetable, sweet strawberries and raspberries, um, there's so many things to taste on the farm, such as delicious, juicy peaches, apricots, spicy radishes, crunchy, sweet carrots, roasted, buttery corn on the cob, munching on a blade of grass, fresh, leafy spinach from the garden, freshly squeezed lemonade, green peas in a pod, creamy, cool milk from the cow. So trying to use different adjectives. Um, again, to really have the reader feel like they're actually tasting what you're talking about. And the final one is touch. And just kind of think of different animals on the farm um, or things that you might be doing. Soft, fluffy down feathers on a fuzzy chick or duckling. Relax the relaxing sway of a hammock if you're laying in it. Um, squishy, gooey, wet mud in the pig pen. Fuzzy peach skin. The nudging touch of a horse's velvety muzzle, maybe your 
caressing their nose or petting them. Um, warm, tickling nibble as a cow eats hay from your hand or the cool grass or earth under your bare feet. So hopefully you can kind of see that by using adjectives and action verbs, I'm really again trying to paint those vivid pictures in the reader's mind to make them feel like they are on the farm. So again, this week you're writing your opinion. If you would like to live on the farm, go ahead and take this time to jot down in note form different things from all five senses um, to get those great sensory details into your writing. All right, have fun.